Hi, welcome to another episode of Talk with Confidence. This is where we have inspirational conversations with inspirational people. Today I have a truly inspirational guest in studio with us. His name is Mr. Masters Monto. Sir, welcome. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> me here. Yeah, it's, it's good to have you here, my brother. How are you? I'm great. I can't complain. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Masters Monto, you are an author, an author as well as an entrepreneur. Am I right? Yes, definitely. I'm actually an author and an entrepreneur. Wonderful, wonderful. That's my space. I see a stack of books uh, on the on the table here. But before we get to the book, I want to discuss uh, your life, your upbringing. Uh, where does Master's Muntu come from? I'm from Rustenburg. Uh, people actually know Rustenburg as Kavani. Okay. I'm from Rustenburg, but in the rural areas. Mm. So they say it's the Bundus. The That's Bundus, yeah. yeah. Then at a later stage, I went to the urban area still in Rustenburg. Yeah. We relocated there. So, mm. yeah. That's okay. where I'm coming from. So your, your family life, uh, siblings, um, your, the environment that you grew up in? Ah, man, it was that one. <laughs> <laughs> it actually makes me laugh because my parents, both of them were teachers. All right. So, you know, when your parents are teachers, you mm. sometimes people treat you in a certain way. Mm. Uh, they expect you to be excellent in everything. Yeah. That's not always the case. Yeah. And at some stage, my mom was teaching in the same school where I was attending. <laughs> so, she's a very strict person. Yeah. Yeah. She'll put you in order. Yeah. And at some stage, she taught me English. Mm. Yeah. So, and she expected too much out of me. Yeah. So yeah. there was always pressure on you to, to excel. Exactly. All right. In terms of siblings, um, can you tell us more about them? Okay. I've got a brother and a sister. Mm. The sister is the eldest. Okay. So technically I'm a last born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, wonderful. You said both uh, your parents were teachers. Yes. I mean, growing up in an environment where both parents are teachers, I'm sure education was a very important uh, uh, aspect of, of, of your life uh, growing up. Exactly. Uh, my parents, they were so much strict and they wanted all of us to be educated. Mm. I remember when I completed matric and uh, I was telling them, I want to be a musician. They yeah. said, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. You must remember that uh, Maslatini has just passed on. Mm. Uh, Maslatini passed on a few years back before then, then Brenda Fassi, then passed, passed on. on. Oh. And both those two characters, they mm. didn't have money at the yeah. time. When, when they, they passed on all. Oh. Exactly. So now people had to pledge, put mm. some money, donate, just to, donate, just to assist mm. their mm. families. So, so there was a perception around musicians that exactly. if you're a musician, you're going to die poor. Exactly. No matter how, how successful. You yeah, can you're, be. Yeah. yeah. I remember, uh, in my first year at Teshare, or second year, mm. yeah, second year actually, mm. I came home with a keyboard that I bought mm. by myself, for mm. myself. Mm. And then they asked me one question. As I was celebrating, I was saying, Mom, do you see this keyboard? Yeah. I bought it. Mm. Then she chuckled a bit at me. Yeah. Then from there she said, do you think you're going to feed your family with this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I was shut down. Yeah. <laughs> Dreams dead. Dreams dead because I was expecting her to celebrate. Yeah. And you, you hadn't even asked her for the money. You you made your own plans and, yes. and, and you bought it with your own money. Exactly. Because wow. you must remember that uh, I, I had an opportunity to learn keyboard. Yeah. I, was, I had always loved music. Mm. Um, in the very early days, mm. when, when I was at primary, mm. you know, at home we had a veranda. Mm. So on Sunday, I used to listen to jazz. Mm. You know, Sunday afternoon they would play jazz. Yeah. Then I would sit on the veranda, let my hands roll on the veranda. Wow, there. Wow, That's wow. how I admired piano. Yeah. Yeah. So when we got to the, rural, uh, to the urban areas, my neighbors uh, were the church people. Mm. So I, I got introduced to them and then uh, eventually, I accepted Christ through mm. them. Mm. Then that's where I learned the, 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 the piano. piano at church. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. So, so yeah. out of that, I, I made sure that that creates business mm. for me. I managed to raise funds to buy that keyboard. Okay, okay. So, I mean, mu music has always been part of you. Yeah. Um, going into into your, your business now, you mentioned that you're an entrepreneur. Are you still within the, the same field? 
Exactly, I'm still within the same field, but it's a, actually a little bigger now. Mm. It's no longer keyboard playing keyboard mm. only. Mm. Yes, the live band part is there. Yeah, and then the supply of musical equipment we call it backline. Yeah, and sound system, mm. a stage, mm. lighting. Yeah, yeah, live recordings as well. What's the name of your company? My company is Harmony Entertainment. Harmony Entertainment. Yeah. Why did you choose that name? A very interesting one. Harmony actually is a direct translation of my name. My first name is Tsolanang. Tsolanang, okay. Which means be in harmony. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. No, it's very harmonious. I can, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And how old is the, the company? The company now is 12 years. 12 years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's, I mean, they say most, most companies, uh, most startups don't make it past the first year. So, I mean, if you're going into your 12 year, it means there's a lot that you're doing right. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot that I've, I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. And, and there's a lot that I'm learning. Yeah. yeah. What are some of the things that, that you're learning? Uh, I would say mentorship is mm. the best thing that can happen to you mm. um, i decided to get the business mentor so that i can learn certain things mm. that i cannot go and learn at school mm. for example i may not have the budget to do a uh, mba yeah but if because now i've got someone who who's advancing business mm. he's teaching me certain things all right so mr Mans, what are some of the things that you've learned from your business mentor uh, you're looking at sales, mm. uh, sales slash marketing. Mm. This guy will tell you that uh, you need to make money. Mm. Doesn't matter what product you have. Yeah, make money out of it. Yeah. Uh, he tells me that a journey of a thousand miles is mm. not achieved on one day. Yeah. So you start with whatever you have mm. and mm. grow from there. Wow. Yeah. Sounds like uh, a, a wise man. Yeah, continue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, most importantly, sales and marketing are uh, good for business to mm. make it sustainable. sustainable. Because if you don't have sales, then you don't have money. Mm. Yeah. Sales translate into revenue. Yeah. Yes. And I mean, cash flow and all of that. Um, in terms of education, um, what did you study? Did you study? Okay. Wow. I actually <laughs> ran away from this question because it exposes me so much. <laughs> yeah. uh. and sometimes it, it looks like it's unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. Um, my first diploma, mm. uh, formal, formal training was diploma in, in finance. Okay. Diploma in accounting, mm. in actual fact. Yes. Sir. That's what I studied. And then I completed, I did serve the articles. Mm. Uh, completed the articles. Oh. Now I'm um, actually a designated what we call business professional accountant. Okay. Or rather business accountant. Okay. So I can sign the books. Oh. Wow. I can do books from the scratch. Yeah. Even sign them. Oh. And give you a financial statement. Oh. Yeah. There's another part that I've learned. Mm. And then I studied piano. Piano. Or rather okay. music. But, uh, formally. Formally. Okay. I started. Uh, doing part-time classes when I was doing first year mm. and studying accountancy. Mm. Then from there, I quitted. I went full-time into the business. Mm. I mean, music. Mm. Studied music. Then uh, music at the school that I was at, I would mm. rather the college, mm. was shut down. Mm. So when I asked my parents to go to a better college, which was C JC at the time, is mm. here in Joburg. Mm. So they said, do you want to bring another fly by night? <laughs> <laughs> Never. This music thing of yours. <laughs> this music thing of yours, we don't understand it. We try to support you, but yeah. now, you know. So now you have to stay for a year. Mm. Think mm. what you want to be, mm. what you want to do in yeah. life, or else go and finish this accounting. In any way, you dropped out a uh, uh, second and a half year. Mm. So it's too short to, to complete. Mm. So that time it was in December, the following year, I had to go either uh, accounting and complete or rather stay at home for a year. Think wow. of what I, I can do. <laughs> the choices. It was very hard. Yeah. yeah, it was tense at home because I wasn't happy. Mm. But then previously, before then, I joined a group called uh, Prestige Sevens. Okay. It was led by a guy called uh, Sequati. SK. Mm. He's, he's now late. He used to sing for Joy Celebration and stuff like that. Oh, wow. But then, at that time, he was in a competition called uh, Coca-Cola 
pop star. Pop star. Yeah, really yeah that one. Yeah. So by the time he wasn't available for the team, mm. the guys or his band members would call me. Mm. Actually, one was assigned to call one good musician at the music school, mm. who were the schoolmate. Mm. So he was assigned to check a good pianist mm. so that he can assist them when Squat or SK is not available. Oh. And you were that man? And I was that man. <laughs> so it worked out. So I said, uh, in general, I said, you know what? Mm. Uh, I cannot go and study music. My parents won't give me that opportunity now. I have to, f to finalize my finance uh, qualification. So I said, because I'm working with this band, mm. let me rather go and finish this diploma because I'm still active yes. musically. Yes. So I took that decision. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so I also studied sound engineering. Wow. So yeah, those knobs, uh, it's not like the DJs. You yeah. Can <laughs> up and down and trick there. There's a science uh, behind it. Yeah, there's a science. <laughs> there's a mind that you have to apply around yeah. that. I went and studied at Academy of Sound Engineering in okay. Joburg, there by Aglen Park. Yes, yes, I'm familiar with the school. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. I mean, as, as I'm listening to your story, it's almost like a balance of, of your passion and, and, and more something more stable such as, as, as uh, uh, accounting. Exactly. So, so, but was the accounting to make your, your parents happy and then the music to make yourself happy? Definitely, that's how it was. <laughs> My parents wanted this formal thing that will make you money, mm. that will make you stable as a family man possibly in the future. Yeah. So that's how I ended up doing accounting. Actually, they said to me, you know, we, you know, you, you want this music thing, but yeah. music is unstable. Yeah. You're not going to feed your family out of that. Yeah. So now, all you can do, take any course in commerce, because you're doing commerce mm. at the time when I was doing metric. Mm. So I ended up, I wanted auditing, mm. but they could not allow me because of my marks. Mm. Then I was, the option that I had was accountants. Then I did it. Mm. Luckily, it has got auditing inside yes, well, yeah. as part of the subject. So okay. I enjoyed it. Wonderful. I mean, in your business, you, you, you supply sound equipment, you, you organize events, mm -hmm. um, and there's, there's, so there's aspects of, of music and accounting in, in your business. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm guessing that it's also a very uh, uh, cash flow heavy type of business. You need to keep your eye on the numbers so that you know, you, you're, you're profitable at the end of the day. Exactly. Mm. Uh, you see, uh, I did not love to do accounting, mm. definitely, mm. or rather commerce thing. I wanted to go hard music. Yeah. But now, uh, this is where I am grateful for my parents to push, whereby they were pushing me to mm. do this thing. Mm. Because there's this thing, or the verse rather, that says, all things were kept together for good. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. it did not seem like it would work for good at mm. that time, but eventually now, it's really working. Uh, I'm able to apply the accounting and mm. management skills that I've learned from a mm. uh, finance uh, diploma. Mm. I'm applying it in my business. Wow. And it's really working out. I can read the financial statement. Yes, I do have an accountant mm. because you cannot heal yourself as a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a qualified yeah. accountant. I do all those things. Yeah. However, I'm retired. Mm. Let me bring that <laughs> point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I say that, people have it. They say, don't you are. Yeah, what's wrong with you? You're still here. <laughs> but I, I chose intentionally to retire mm. as an accountant because I want to have life. Yeah. Yeah. You can have money and not have life, then mm. it's pointless. Yeah. So the accounting thing is helping me in the business. I'm able to manage the finance well mm. and to discuss uh, financials with the accountant. Yeah. Ask questions that are relevant. Relevant questions. Yes. Wow, wonderful. I mean, to other aspirant um, entrepreneurs especially in the in the arts field would you advise them to go in a similar route where you get some foundational uh, business knowledge um, and then uh, match it or match it with your artistic uh, talent and skills definitely i would because uh, going into the what i've learned on on, on my uh, experience as a financial accountant mm. Uh, most businesses die prematurely mm. because of lack of management in terms of finance. Mm. Entrepreneurs, for example, one, they use only one bank account, which is the bank account of the business. Mm. And truly speaking, the bank account of the business 
is the bank balance of the business. If you are an entrepreneur, mm. you must separate your life from the life of, of the business. Mm. Have two separate accounts, mm. have your salary mm. that is going to your business, yeah. I mean to your personal account. Mm. And whatever personal matter, you spend out of it. Out of your personal account? Out of your personal account. Not out of the business account? Not out of the business account. Mm. Now, most entrepreneurs, they do the opposite. Mm. They spend out of the business account. <laughs> and if you see 100,000, coming into your business account. Yeah. It's not yours, it's the business. <laughs> it belongs to the business. Yeah. What is uh, yours legally and anyhow, <laughs> it should be your salary. <laughs> yeah, so even as, a, as an entrepreneur, because a lot of entrepreneurs, as you say, their salary, uh, they see the business uh, 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 bottom line yeah. as their salary, which mm -hmm. is not the case. Which is not the case. Mm. If you are doing that, you are running down the business to the drain. Yeah. Um, I, I happen to notice that they do a lot of withdrawals. And then mm. if you ask them, because most of them, they, they don't want to do books per month. Mm. So now they'll bring the books after a year. Mm. Now, if you ask him, uh, about a transaction that has happened six months earlier. Mm. They can't explain it. Mm. This guy has with, just withdrawn 30,000 in mm. June. Perhaps you are in February next month. In June last year, mm. he withdrew 50,000. In August, 30,000. In November, 20, 10, and 5,000. You ask him what has happened. Why were you withdrawing this? Mm. What were you doing with this money? Mm. He can't answer. He can't answer. Because he's been treating it like a personal, personal account. Exactly. Wow, there's some, there's some good uh, financial uh, advice for, for entrepreneurs out there. Yeah. Um, so definitely I'd advise them to get um, something um, in terms of management of the business. Mm. It can be a course in marketing, it can be a course in finance, mm. it can be a course in management, mm. still okay, mm. just to be able to manage their things well because they'll be exposed to certain things that can help them. For example, management, we, co we, we talk about planning, leading, organization, and control. Mm. Those are the four keys in terms of management. Mm. And then while you are still learning out of this, there's an aspect that they introduce finance. Mm. There's controls, then they introduce finance. Wow. So you will learn about the management of the people. Mm. You will learn about, uh, so they say it's HR. Mm. There's just an introduction to HR. Mm. It will help you how mm. to deal with people, what you need in terms of HR. So it, it gives you like an overview. Exactly. Uh, of the, the, the top overview. Yeah. I'm sensing there's a business mentor in you. <laughs> Definitely, um, I'm actually working on that. I'm, mm. I've been mentoring one or two guys, mm. but uh, informally so. Okay. Yeah, so that's something that I'm really looking into. Mm. Yeah, because that's my passion. Wow. In fact, uh, my passion is to see other people succeeding. Wow. Succeeding. Yeah. Um, what matters the most from me mm. is to develop another person. Wow, beautiful, man. Yeah. In terms of some of your, your, your clients uh, in your business, yeah. who, who are they and how, how are you able to, to, to garner the clients that you are garnering? Okay, I've got different kinds of clients. For example, mm. I've got churches, mm. uh, I've got individuals, mm. I've got corporate like Saika, mm. I've got uh, artists, mm. for example, Lady Zama, mm. uh, uh, Mabongi, mm. um, Nayaba. Mm. Just to name a few. Wow, wow, beautiful. Yeah. And, and it's not always like uh, whether I'm going to follow one streamline, let's mm. say gospel or what. Mm. No, I do different kinds different of kinds. yeah of artists. And watch which which I mean you've mentioned this um, the entertainment sector, like secular entertainment sector. There is church, there is corporates. Mm. Which do you find to be uh, the quote unquote easiest or, or the ones that gives you uh, the less stress <laughs> in terms of managing and, and, and actually uh, providing the service. Yeah, I would say corporate and secular, they are much uh, <laughs> manageable because these guys, they know business. Mm. They don't have time to waste. Mm. You'll never hear someone bringing you and putting you in a corner for two hours meeting and you come out of with nothing. Yeah. And you'll forever be asking for the discount and trying to point in scriptures. And you'll tell you the love of money. You know, my brother, you love money too much. 
No, my brother, you can't. Uh, give me a, a born again <coughs> quotation <laughs> or rather invoice. That thing does not exist. <laughs> business no is business. There's yeah. no born again quotation. <laughs> exactly. There is none like that. In fact, the Bible also states that mm. money has us all. Yeah. Yeah. No, wonderful, wonderful. So cash is key. Cash is <laughs> <laughs> So no discount. Discount. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> As a lot always one discount, and sometimes it's just traumatic. It traumatizes us. <laughs> All right, you mentioned um, that you love seeing people succeed. Exactly. And and as I said, I I, I see a mentor in you, even in the way that, that that you speak and and the passions that you you know you obviously have. Mm-hmm. Uh, is this what inspired uh, your book? Exactly. The ABCs of life. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, can you just take us through the inspiration and what 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 the content is actually of the book? Uh, this is an amazing book that I wrote a few years ago yeah. called The ABCs of Life. Mm. Most importantly, it's part one. Part one. Meaning, there's volumes that are still gonna come. Okay. Out of it. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, what inspired me the most is that I, I love developing others. Mm. Development. Mm. You know, when I was still a, an accountant, there was something that we called continuous development. Yes. They give you an update of what, in, in terms of the tax laws, mm. uh, compliance. Mm. So from time to time, you'll have workshops, yeah. you, you'll have uh, updates mm. so that you are on point. So because as, as, as the business environment changes, you need to change as well and grow with it. Yeah. Now, even in the personal life, mm. you need to keep on updating. Mm. I remember that, you know, I've got a, a phone called iPhone. Mm. So, uh, when the update comes, mm. let's say you are on version 9. When mm. version 10 comes mm. and you don't want, it sent you the signal. Yeah. If you don't want to, it shuts down certain things. Like your WhatsApp sometimes may not oh. give you, you may not be able to download the pictures, but oh. the WhatsApp may come in. Mm. <laughs> so, so, it shows that you are, you are behind. <laughs> Do something. <laughs> if, you, if you want to, to, to keep uh, uh, performing, keep, keep, uh, keep up, uh, at, at, at the level that you want to be, exactly. update. Yeah, update. So it's Continue the same in life. So it's the same in life. Wow. So that's how I approach life. So you need to keep on updating yourself, mm. developing yourself. Wow. Now, the book, um, it talks about the basics of life. Mm. Hence, it's called the ABCs, ABCs. of life. Oh, yeah, the fundamentals of life. Mm. I always get a question from people, how do you make it? Uh, how do you make it to be successful? Mm. And my simplest as the answer is that uh, I take a look, or I'm keen on the basics. Mm. And what are some of the basics uh, that you speak about in this book? Uh, I'm talking about purpose, mm. which is critical, uh, focus, mm. planning, mm. education, mm. competition. Mm. Those are some of them. Okay, wonderful. I mean, when you say uh, purpose, uh, what, what do you define purpose to be? Purpose is what you are meant to be mm. in life. Mm. Not what the others want you to be like. Yeah. For example, my parents wanted <laughs> me to be <laughs> this professional yeah. person. Yeah. Well, it's not wrong for them to dream that way because I believe that parents and older people, they want what's best for their yes, kids, yes. which is very good. Yeah. Yeah, but it matters what you want to yeah. be in life. And I mean, for instance, in, 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 in your own life, uh, there was the, 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 the practical thing, you know. Sometimes what seems practical is not equivalent to, to your purpose. Exactly. So for you studying accounting, albeit it, it has helped you in your journey, yeah. but it wasn't your purpose, Definitely although it seemed not. practical. Yeah. What, what did you say to those individuals who have a sense of what their purpose is, but it does not seem practical what what would you say to that person i'll say dig more into it and then um, get a mentor mm. my next book has got a chapter in, mm. te- in terms of mentoring it's mm. it's uh, the abc's I, i'm not sure whether it's the abc's of life mm. or the abc's of business because mm. uh, the, i'm running with the uh the, the theme, the ABCs. ABCs. Okay. Yeah, you also have the ABCs of life and the ABCs of business. Okay. Possibly there might be ABCs of relationship. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. But I'm on the okay. ABCs. The ABCs. Yeah, basics. The basics. Yeah, don't go too far. Yeah. The basics. Get the basics right and everything will turn out exactly. all right. So mm. I'll say get mentorship. Yeah. Explain to the mentor 
mm. what do you want yeah. to achieve in life or what what do you think your purpose is mm. and the mentor will be able to guide you through mm. because um, mentorship is like this mm. what you can achieve in uh, let's say by yourself in three years mm. with mentorship you can achieve with one year wow that person will guide you mm. remember if you choose a mentor that person uh, must not be your competitor mm. that person must be matured in age mm. must have uh, been exposed to certain things mm. if it's been in business or in life in general mm. so that person should not even have and have to compete with you mm. so that he can give you information he can yeah. it's like rain flowing mm. into your head mm. or the, in the shower mm. the water flow into your head mm. that's how you'll get the information from the the mentor I mean, that's a very interesting aspect. I mean, and it's mentorship seems to be a recurring theme here. Exactly. Um, when, when people have succeeded, mm. right, and, and someone said yourself, you say there are people that you are, you are mentoring. Mm. I mean, that aspect of competing with, with people that you're supposed to, what would you say to people who have excelled mm. and the people that um, need mentorship for them, from them, but they have a sense like, what if I give these people information or knowledge or whatever, and, and they, they excel even better than me? I mean, there are people who have those types of mentalities. What would you say to them? I will say, uh, look, if you empower someone mm. and he excels, mm. you have done a great job. Mm. You are reflect on, on he, you as well. Exactly. You are able to say, that man, yeah. I, I was able to develop him. I was yeah. able to give him knowledge and look at him. Yeah. He's doing wonders. Yeah. So you should be proud of it. Yeah. If, if I uh, develop someone in, in terms of sound engineering and he does the, the best, mm. and, like he sounds far much better I do, I get excited. Mm. Yeah. Because at least I've got a product that yeah. I can show off. Yeah. yeah. And somebody who, who you know, you're, after you're gone, yeah. they will still be a living a leg. You, there will be your, part of your legacy. There will be somebody that people can point to and say, uh, Mr. Mansu helped develop that particular entrepreneur. Exactly. All right. Uh, I mean, you, you mentioned the ABCs of uh, relationships, which I think you must write. You are a husband and a father. Yeah. So just tell us a little bit about your, your family life. Okay, I'm, I'm a husband mm. to a beautiful wife. The <laughs> most beautiful wife in the <laughs> earth you can ever find. <laughs> All the others are second. <laughs> yeah, and uh, a cute little girl. Wow. Yeah, I love her to bits. She yeah. wakes me up sometimes in the awkward hours, but I'm able to laugh with her, play with her, wow. because she brings joy into yeah. my heart. Wow. I never knew that I can laugh wow. like that mm. up until I become a dad. Wow. Yeah. And what are some of the the changes that uh, the dynamics of being a husband and a a father, what, what have they brought from a, um, a psychological point of view or emotional point of view? Even the impact that uh, they've had on your entrepreneurship. Okay, uh, there's been good going. Mm. My wife, let's say for example, is a family oriented person. Mm. Yeah, so uh, he, he, she wants you to be there. Mm. She wants you to provide, mm. you know. And then when you are making decisions as a businessman, mm. when you invoice, if this person is telling my brother, give me, uh, you can uh, give me that born again uh, invoice. Yeah. You can uh, already see if this person is below this threshold, yeah. there's no way you can take that job. Mm. Just leave it. Yeah. Maybe there'll be someone who will help him. But for you or for me, mm. I can't mm. because I know that I've got uh, employees in mm. the business mm. to pay salaries. I've mm. got suppliers mm. and I've got my salary. Mm. And then out of my salary, I've got dependents. Yeah. Yeah. So when you invoice, they come to mind as well, that yeah. I've got a wife and a kid exactly. and the so, responsibilities. Yeah, that's, that's the responsibilities and that actually as well, a kid, you know, mm. a kid is fully dependent on you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So whatever you do, mm. you make sure that you can provide for the kid. Wonderful. So that means your, uh, your bottom line mm. must stay properly. Yeah. yeah. Must stay healthy. Exactly. Harmony Entertainment uh, is 12 years old. Yeah. Where do you see it going um, in the next 10 years? Wow. Harmony will be very big. Mm. Actually, the whole, any event that will happen 
Mm. How many must have a stake on it? <laughs> That's how how big yeah. Hamon will be wow. in the next ten years. Wow. We may not have everything, yeah. but the company that is appointed mm. will definitely come and outsource something from, from Hamon. It can even outsource even the skills yeah. to do that certain part of the business. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, Mister Masters Mons, it's been a pleasure having you here, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, just one thing in terms of the book. Uh, the Abyss of Life, where can people uh, find the book? At this moment, the book is not in stores. Um, you can just inbox me on Facebook. Mm. My profile name is Masters Monsu, M-A-S-T-E-R-S, Masters with the S, yeah. space Monsu. Mm. Uh, inbox me what, what you need or how many copies you need, then we can take it from there. And then uh, also... Uh, my, your, business, your business details? Uh, my business details is Harmony Entertainment. We've got a Facebook page as well. It's Harmony Ent Entertainment. Mm -hmm. And then the direct line is 012 752 7378. And then, in terms, you can also have the email address, which is info at harmony ent .co.za. So you send the, the email for whatever you need, or to my personal, which is masters. Monsu, sorry, monsu.tc at gmail.com. Once again, thank you so much. But uh, just to break the two, mm. uh, monsu.tc is for personal mm. or for the ABCs. Okay. And the RS is for business in terms of what we are doing in the entertainment business. All right. No, wonderful. I'm sure you got all those details. Mm -hmm. Menir, thank you so much. Eh? It's been a pleasure having you here. Thank you for having me. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Wonderful. That was Mr. Masters with an S. <laughs> Monto, and you've been watching Talk with Confidence right here on Global Conference Television. Eitana.